I'm Rob Bailey, and I'm one of the people that run the Mousetrap Model 92 in North London. The All Night has run about once every four or five weeks, and they've been going the last over the last three years. Um, it costs six pounds to get in. It starts at 10, finishes at 6 a.m. As a sort of common kind of cause, everybody is sort of into the scene and the music and what have you. It doesn't matter sort of what, what you are, what colour you are, where you're from, it doesn't matter. Because we're all into the same thing. We're trying to recreate maybe a 60s club like the scene or the Flamingo. I mean, all these clubs wouldn't have been particularly smart, posh places. It tended to be basement cellar bars um, with low ceilings and what have you. And that, that's exactly what the club is. Um, therefore, it just tends to create a better atmosphere. The people that are in it obviously make it. It's nice to be able to get drunk, like have a good dance, have a good chat, without having to worry about like like thugs and morons and like like the general idiots being in there as well, you know. And all the publicity that's done about it is all about blur and all the new mugs and everything, and that's sort of not our scene at all. It's just like where you can come and listen to real music, real things. Music. With them and blues, beat, uh, sight stuff, northern soul, a bit of Jamaican ska. Latin, Latin soul, jazz. Um, the kind of people that go to the club predominantly are, are mods. Um, although we get um, people that are offshoots, for instance, like the skinheads. When I say skinheads, I don't mean um, the sort of seventies uh, oi boy punk sort of fascist skinhead. I mean the Trojan skinheads. Um, that's the term used for them. Late sixties skinheads who listen to black Jamaican music, reggae, ska. Dress smart, maybe the same as what I'm wearing now, something similar, but will have shorter hair. We get some some of the psychedelic kids, you know, uh, swing in London, 60s types and what have you as well. But it's all very closely connected. Get a lot of the old students, uh, school leavers coming over from France, Spain, Italy. Germany. Uh, we're coming from Munich, down near Munich. Get uh, Japanese uh, students coming over, all into the mod thing. They all uh, pick up their newsletter. Basically, we're contact for the old world. Well, yeah. The clothes uh, tend to be obviously very retro. Obviously, some people like to wear three, four button suits, double breasted, single breasted. Um, some of the girls. Um, might wear sort of pop-up dresses, um, stripes, flowers, or what have you, short dresses, boots. Um, some of them might want to take more sort of authentic look with hipsters. The guys, some might have short hair, a pork fine haircut, a uh, bow from um, crop, what have you. Uh, the women, again, obviously, the, the bob uh, or the French crop. There are always fads within the scene, you know, something that becomes more popular. Um, Everybody will do that for a while and then it will you know, move on again and something else will become more popular. There's far too much to mention. But anybody can come into the scene and we, uh, all they have to do is have a, a general interest. I think the thing is that when people come up to these clubs, you know, once they start listening to music, they start getting into the clothes anyway. Like the whole scene, they, it sort of takes up for them. In the 60s, in fact, the, the dances changed every week along with the, the fashion. Um, there were dances like the block and the boogaloo. So we, we, we use those and adapt them and change them in different ways. You do your own thing, but like, there is set dances for certain records, you know? Like, like right. any sort of music. Yeah. The swim. The swim. There's, there's it's very songs un- that not have the their own up. dances too. They're very simple. It's all for fun anyway, like all dancing music, you know? There's uh, quite a friendly atmosphere down there, almost a family atmosphere, whereas people that have known one another and going to similar clubs and what have you for years and years, but it's not a closed, closed affair. People can come in um, to the club as long as they respect what's going on and, 
are generally interested in evening people.